guys, welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4. In the last episode, we were talking to Nancy, trying to get her all sorted out in this little prison, <laughs> I think you could call it. Because we're keeping her here, because we're evil. We're trying to embrace our evil side again, because that is where our core lies. I don't know what I'm talking about, but it sounded really good. <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, we trapped her in there. And we think we sorted it out, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see how it all goes. But I read the comments in the last episode. A lot of you had some really, really cool ideas. Some of you actually wanted me to let Nancy go. Because Nancy hasn't really done anything wrong. And if I want to get rich, you guys had a better idea. And I liked it. And that is what we are going to do today. So the idea was that we let Nancy go. But not just yet. Nancy is married to a very rich person called someone uh what was his name again uh, let's find out nancy is married to jeffrey langrab now the langrab family are probably the richest family on the map they always have been so if i go to oh i can't, can't show you yet i'm gonna i'm gonna get my little um things up so i'm all happy and stuff oh, I'm, I'm good i'm good maybe i can show you let me go to travel um there we go i should have started off at the travel map shouldn't i because i could have showed you easier let me do it let me speed this up quickly um where is he why do you have to go back upstairs to travel right there we go let's wait for this to load so nancy is married to jeffrey and jeffrey is one of the richest guys on the map well they both are and they live in this house uh, i have to find it i think it's in oasis springs they live in this house right here that is their house and the idea some of you had was to go into that house and kill oh well i didn't mean to click on it and kill mr jeffrey and i like that idea because then that bit makes nancy available and then i make her more eager to get to know me and then she can move in with me and then we can take all our money and then we can be rich so i like that idea so i thought to myself why don't we go and pay Mr. Jeffrey a visit. I can lock his, I can lock his door. <laughs> I can lock the guy's door. Let's go pay Mr. Jeffrey a visit. They have a nice house though. Look at this. I don't like the surroundings. It's like it's in the desert. But it is a mansion. It looks really... It reminds me of my Sims 3 house. Come in. <gasps> so who actually lives in this house? It had three people, didn't it? I know she's married to Jeffrey. So right, let's pause it a sec. And let's go see who is here. Right, let's check out the house though. Look at this place. Uh, that's okay. I don't like the fact the TV's over there. Uh, is there anyone else around here? Right, someone's here because they invited me in. Is anyone upstairs? Oh, there. Who is that? That's Malcolm. <gasps> that must be their son. Right, I'm not going to tell their son I have their mum captive. But what I might do is go and get to know him a little bit. Go and get to know Malcolm just a little bit. And then wait for the dad to come home. Let's go and have a cheerful introduction with Mr. Malcolm. Because we have evil on our mind. And we have to do it today. We have to, get, we have to eliminate the person that is holding back my plans, you know. I'm trying to get closer with Nancy. She's not letting me. So let's get rid of the problem. Let's get rid of the obstacle that's in the way. I don't want to climb obstacles. I just want to delete them. So let's get rid of them. Oh, there's, there's another upstairs. Wait, let's see who's upstairs. Anyone up here? No, no one up here. It's like an office. Cool. All right, I don't think anyone else is in the house. We want to keep an eye out to see if anyone comes back. There's people walking around there. What's that house like? Oh, that's a nice house. You should just talk. Get to know each other. Because I could be your dad eventually soon, Malcolm. You know, your new dad who's going to kill your mum. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. Um, let's lie about my career. Let's, let's uh, just lie. I don't care. We're lying about my career. Let's be funny. Let's... No, no. Let's go back. Let's be mischievous. And let's... No, let's not do that because that will kill him. Let's... Um... Oh, he liked my fake career. Let's install false confidence. I want Malcolm to get back. That is what I want. I want, not Malcolm, I want Jeffrey to get back. 
It's a pretty cool bedroom. Look, they've got a gym and everything. Oh, he's there. Jeffrey's there. Huh. We can do this. We can do this. Right, let's go take him out. Let's go introduce ourselves to him. Stop talking to Malcolm. Huh. We can do this. Let's get a cinematic of this walk. The walk of a killer. Come on. No. No, don't come in there. Why is he got... Right, this this is going wrong. Go here. There we go. They're face to face. The two people that are fighting over one woman. But I just want the money. That's all I want. You might love her. I want the money. Because I'm evil. And this series is meant to be the evil series. That's just what I want. So don't take it personally, Jeffrey. Alright? Do not take this personally. I want to um, have a cheerful introduction with you. Because I don't want it to be on bad terms that I get rid of you, you know? I don't, I don't want that. I don't want it to be like that. I want, I want to be nice. Oh no, Malcolm's coming. No, Malcolm. Move out of the way. His voice is so weird. Malcolm, don't do this. Sit together. Let's go and sit together over there. Malcolm, go away. Oh, Malcolm, you're ruining the party. I've got, I, I want to do something to your dad. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. Right. Can I, um... Right, Malcolm is, like, keeping an eye on us. They might be asking where, where their mum is, but I'm not going to tell them, all right? I'm not going to tell them where their mum is. We're going to brighten his day before we do that. And then we're going to go sit over here together. Let's do that. Right, come on. Yes, Malcolm. Oh, here we go, guys. Here we go. The final walk. We've got some ple pleasant music. I think that's good. Right. As requested by a lot of the viewers in the last episode, we're going to take out the problem. And 50% of this problem is Jeffrey Landgrab. So we're going to do it, guys. We're going to do it. This is going to be our second kill of this series. <gasps> Let's do it. I'm going to do that. I'm going to claim to be a criminal mastermind. And then I'm going to kill him. Let's do this. Um, Let's see how it goes. Locks, wind, kiss, and oi, car seat. Oh, he didn't like it. Oh, oh, he didn't like it. Here we go. Hold on, I want to get a good view of this. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, no. Chat. Wait, did he avoid... Did he avoid getting tricked by a hand buzzer? No! This guy's a genius! Why is he not letting me do it? Trick with hand buzzer! It's not letting me do it, people! No! I wanted to kill him! And it's not letting me! Jeffrey is a genius! Is he gonna let me do it? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Jeffrey is beating me. Why is he not doing this? <laughs> Jeffrey is beating me. He, he gave me a hug. <laughs> I want to kill him and he gave me a hug. Jeffrey, what are you doing? No. Trick him with the hand buzzer, please. Please. Clark. Just do it. <laughs> He's not going to do it. No. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me, Jeffrey? You're too clever. You're too clever. Look at them. They get like best friends. They're like best friends. Oh. Look at them. Are they getting along or not? No, they're not. You fit me. Quosenics. Why can't I just like say hello, um, hand buzzer, boom, die? Why is it not working? Throw drink. Whoa. Can you throw a drink over him? Let's try that. Let's do that. Oh, talk to the hand. Oh, these guys don't like each other now. 
Can you... Oh, he's gonna do it. Whoa, let's take a picture of this. Look at his face. Look at his face. Oh. He threw the drink over him. And look at Can I get a good picture of this? Oh, why can't I kill this guy? This guy's like a genius. Drink to the face. Bam. There we go. Oh. Oh. Right, now. Come on. No, don't, don't want to calm him down. I just want to trick him with the hand buzzer. That's all I want to do. Why is he not letting me do it? Come on, one more go. I want. If this doesn't work, I'm going to go test it in someone else to see if it works. Oh, it's going to work, guys. It's going to... No! There's Nancy. What the heck? What the heck? This is a twist. What's going on? No, I'm just about to shake his hand. How did she get out? She's back. I'm going to kill her husband in front of her. This has all gone wrong. This has all gone wrong. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. I've got to take a picture of that though, because that looks really cool. This all went wrong. He's going to die right in front of me. No. I'm sorry, Nancy. You wasn't meant to see this. You wasn't meant to see this. Oh, hey, Grimmy. I missed you, man. Where you been? <laughs> wow about Jeffrey's demise. Yeah, pretend. Nothing happened. It was an accident. It was an accident. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jeffrey. I didn't mean it. I did mean it, but I didn't mean it when Nancy turned up. Oh, no. The sun's here as well. Just look on the bright side, Nancy. You're not married anymore. Can we plead? What's going on? Is he still taking him? I oh, know I don't want to plead. I don't want him back. I want him. I want him gone. Just pretend. Oh. oh, this is really, really unfortunate. But um, I know you guys might be sad. Um, but. I kind of need to take this and put it in my inventory. Thank you. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, because it, it kind of goes towards a collection that I'm kind of doing at the moment. But, um, yeah. I didn't mean it. I'm really sad. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> That's been the title of the episode. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Because I'm kind of not sorry. Can I talk to the Grim Reaper? Oh, does he need to go to the toilet? He needs to go to the toilet. Go to the toilet quickly. And then we'll go talk to Nancy. Nancy's so sad. She's gone to bed. The Grim Reaper is just playing on the thing. Let's, um... I want to be, like, best friends with him. Let's be friendly. Let's, like, ask about his day. Oh, look, they're so sad. I was going to say, he's so sad, he's going to get in bed with his mum. Did he go Did he go to the toilet? No, he didn't. He's just sad. Right. This is going to be a shot in the dark, people. Uh, her husband has just died. So, what I'm going to do is what any ordinary crazy evil man would do. I'm going to hit on her. <laughs> Try to flirt after we're in grief. Let's see if it works. He's going to say hello to the Green Reaper first. Then he's going to try and flirt with a... A, a grieving wife. Oh, oh, she didn't like it. <laughs> she didn't like it. This girl does not like me. She escaped from my house. She's, they're like mastermind these people. Wow. Oh, they're getting along now. Nancy, you're all mine. You're all mine, Nancy. Now your husband's out of the way. Grim Reaper's just chilling on the PC. Husband's out of the way. It might have been a bit of a chaotic, might have been a bit of a chaotic episode, but we did it. Mission accomplished. It was a bit messy. Nancy magically escaped out of my house. I don't know how, but she did. Malcolm, she witnessed the death of her husband. She wasn't meant to do that either. Grim Reaper sitting there playing on the computer. 
that's just the life of the sims 4 that is it <laughs> but guys we have this empire available to us now nancy is a single woman and we need to take advantage of that to get our money but guys hope you enjoyed this episode thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode of the sims 4 Hey, the football well, game, you you'd get stoned. Oh, look, well, look, we can sit in these little holes. And yeah, fire. and reminisce. Aww. But okay, so we got, what, what are we doing? Are we sorting it out? Or are we no, we're, we're moving on. This base is claimed. Ryan, I want to unclaim this base. Now.